Listen to the face of someone who has no idea what they're doing. Okay, so, last night, I got pretty much half of this room done and had to install a couple of light fixtures just to see what the hell I'm doing because it's quite fiddly getting this stuff uh, all put together but it's gone very well, this stuff is very easy to install and once you get the hang of it now, but uh, something I've noticed which I wasn't expecting is that this new sound has a completely different sound signature than the old stuff. So this is, you know, some kind of hardwood floor and if we step on it that's the noise that makes this one's completely different looks ri ridiculous doing that but uh, uh, the, the sound you get out of this floor is uh, uh, much much duller uh, it, it just doesn't resonate as much. It's probably much to do with the uh, foam we're putting underneath it, but uh, it, it really gets rid of some of the like old room feel. And just listen to that. It's a much, much nicer sound. I, I was not expecting that, and I really like it. I really uh, like it. Uh, so, uh, setting this floor down, uh, you're supposed to leave about 10 millimeters between the walls and uh, the edge of the floor because uh, ha old houses move around. Uh, I've just opted to use some pieces of the floor, uh, so we're 6 mil from the wall on all sides, uh, but you know, there's so much slop in all of this stuff with horrible cardboard walls, it's not a big deal. Same deal here, uh, well, we're a bit more than 6 mil there. And I'm keeping pretty decent tolerances, I do think. Not uh, letting it uh, get uh, too ridiculous. Uh, it's hard to get stuff like this to look good, but uh, I think I've done a decent job. This, this was actually the first piece I cut, so it turned out a bit ugly. We have yeah, a bit too much cut there, and I screwed off a ouch. I screwed up measurements on this so these cutouts are a bit bigger than they need to be but that doesn't bother me in the slightest. Uh, I have noticed however uh, this wall has a bulge to it. Uh, it uh, bulges out in the middle a bit. Uh, so this is the you know, thickest part of the wall so I've had to put a space of that so we don't get too close even though we actually do end up uh, quite uh, having a quite decent gap here. I don't think there's going to be and I think our uh, runnery things are going to cover that up even though it's uh, pretty much a 10-12mm gap in the corner here. Uh, there's a bit of a trick to keeping an even spacing around here. Uh, you might be able to tell I uh, have screwed that up. So This was first road was quite experimental uh, but uh, when we got to these two I tried one system for cutting the, the depth and then here I decided for the final one, uh, which I've just maintained all the way through. We have very good tolerances on this, I don't mind this at all. Uh, except for here, where I have no idea what I managed to do, but uh, there's a big gap there which is going to get covered up. But mm. yeah, I thought it was going to be an issue, uh, folding the floor down underneath the radiator. If that wasn't an issue, you can just kind of bend these enough to make them click into place even though uh, you can't lift them higher than so I'd put perhaps 10 centimeters uh, above the floor. And uh, yeah, it's going quite well. Uh, you really get the speed going with this uh, once you do like free rows because then you can stand on the floor and just work in that direction instead of working towards you. That's just a much nicer way of working. And it's a, a 
enjoyable process. I mean, getting this much done in a couple of hours is uh, really satisfying. I'm not looking forward to having to paint the runners, but uh, we're getting there, perhaps even tomorrow. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So I've just cut up the first of the final bits for this part of the room and uh, they give you some very nice instructions uh, on how to do this. You just put the piece you want uh, lined up very well with the previous one, like this. You can see I have one taped down here. Then you just put another one, a complete one, on top and uh, you draw a line around it and that gives you the perfect width for the piece uh, of uh, flooring including the little six-ish millimeter gap we want. So that's all excellent. However, this is where things are starting to uh, get a bit weird because we have this horrifying red thing to deal with. Uh, so these have a million nooks and crannies and uh, we're just gonna have to cut around them basically. I'm going to cut with a circular saw up until, up until here. I'm going to take the oscillating tool and just excavate this area. And that's not going to be too big of a bother. I'm very happy that uh, we end up with roughly this amount of uh, flooring shooting over in between here uh, because I was worried we'd end up with uh, this being pretty much uh, the same width as the, as the flooring, uh, where we'd had to like uh, basically either cut a slot into one of these, which would just be horrifying, uh, or we'd just have to basically start a new floor here and put like some something to uh, prevent it from flopping around, uh, where we uh, just. Uh, hook the two pieces together because if this wouldn't line up properly we'd be shithead luck as far as uh, using the uh, little hooky things on the ends there to connect everything together but this is going to make it be good we're going to have you know right around there there's going to be another layer and we'll move onward so that's going to be a bit of cutting bit dicky getting like this area done since I'll have to have the starting piece for this room uh, excavated to go around there and of course we have to do the same thing over there but since this room has like a million corners 17 to be exact uh, anyway it's it's, it's going to be a ton of work no matter what uh, so yeah just want to point that out doesn't that look fancy so close to being done with this one so close, and there we have it. That's not looking too bad, if I say so myself. I managed to get it quite spot on with all the little angles on there. Now it's a bit sharper than it should be, but uh, you're not going to be looking at that up close. That's that's absolutely fine. One more to go, and then we're done for the day. And there we have it. That's the last piece of a great build pus big puzzle for this room. Oh, and we're done for tonight. Whew. So I did pretty much the same thing here. It was a bit tricky measuring this up since uh, I couldn't get a board lined up there. So I had to use some little pieces and uh, measure it uh, the old time away but we got a nice cut out for the archway as well just uh, two more to go on the other side and then we're done cutting out the archways so that's going to be nice when well, that's done but look at that we've got a floor it's nice and shiny and the foam really does do 
A good job dampening down. Step sounds. <sighs> so, next step is going to be uh, painting all the runners because I'm going to do that while I have a crappy old floor uh, in uh, that half of the area. It's still going so I can mess around with paint without uh, having to care too much about cleaning up after myself. But uh, once we get those, imagine the walls, uh, it's just the electrics left and this half of the room is going to be done. But of course we're going to finish up the rest of the floor uh, before we get to that. And of course that means this room which is going to be a royal pain. This is called baseboard. Let's try and remember that. This. So, uh, spent the day uh, not doing anything with the floor but just uh, cleaning uh, these uh, uh, baseboards up. Uh, I've cleaned all of them. Uh, so, what I've done is I've taken and uh, cleaned them off with the uh, paint stripping tool, the angle grinder around the edges to clean up uh, any, well, most of the paint that's to run underneath food to make them. Uh, sit flush against the floor and to remove some of them had a bit of an edge going out in the bottom there too which would probably make uh, the paint kind of not stick too well to them. Oh, this one I think I need to do up a bit better with a manual file uh, but uh, we're pretty much ready to start painting these uh, so I was uh, considering painting them red like the door frames but I don't think uh, that's gonna work for two reasons. Part one, I don't have enough red paint left. Part two is, I think, if we have like a red lining along the edge of the entire room, it's gonna make the room look smaller because it basically puts an edge to, oh yeah, this is where the room ends. Whereas if they're just white, it's not quite as in your face uh, that uh, that's where the room ends. Uh, so that's it's more of a design decision, really, but I don't want them red than anything. I, I, I don't think it's going to uh, be good for the kind of feel I want in these rooms. Since they're pretty small anyway, we don't want to make them look any smaller than they are. So, I'm just going to use the same cheapo paint used for the walls on them, so they're going to be pretty much invisible. That's the rest of them. I've been working in the kitchen cleaning them up uh, since I don't want to get any uh, moisture on this floor because it sucks it up and it's going to get trapped underneath the uh, plastic there so don't want any of that <sighs> okay moving on This angle can suck a cock. Uh, it's not 45 degrees, it's 55. I don't have any ready set tools to measure that height. And cutting at this uh, rather shallow angle, it really makes it super sensitive to just everything. So I've had, I've, I had to do, redo a bunch of these pieces just because uh, they're, they're, they're not good enough, they're just, they're just like half a degree off and they start to get a bit too far away from the wall at the end. This one is actually out of tolerance, it's going to poke it out very slightly uh, under the, the uh, floorboard, baseboard, whatever. Uh, but I just can't be bothered redoing this again, wasting another piece, because it's just such a pain. 
if, if I had a proper tool to measure that angle it would be easier but uh, I don't <sighs> but we have made progress today although this little piece here <laughs> took as long as doing half the other room just because of those bloody cuts although I am quite proud over uh, the result uh, around the arch here because I managed to really cut this out nicely or just uh, a good quality cut it all the way around you can't even make out of this actually a, a two pieces going together here it's right there there's a tiny 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 little imperfection there this piece here was a bit interesting to do because we had to do first have to cut out since it's, since it's like this piece goes around here all the way here then <laughs> to, to this thing so I first had to cut out this big chunk when I had to uh, cut out uh, this here and then uh, cut out all this stuff making a rather high-tech cut and we have a similar thing going over here except uh, it uh, doesn't have a door in the corner but also very nice tolerance here you can there's the uh, border between the pieces can barely make it out so I'm very happy with that I'm gonna I might cover this up with something in the future just to make it not a big gap uh, but yeah other than that we do have decent tolerances in the corner it's pretty good that can be all covered up and most of that is this horrible angle is going to be pretty good so we just have the rest of this room to do to go thankfully that piece there is uh, the, f the final one for that angle uh, the rest was going to be just straight I, I was lucky in that regard because we have one uh, a split right here so uh, this piece is completely cut straight cut this piece is completely uh, at an angle and the same goes over there so it's going to be completely at an angle and then completely straight cut with hold for radiator so that went uh, better than I dared expect <sighs> this is a nice sight a very nice sight I did I yeah uh, we have all the baseboards painted ready to go just a single coat of uh, white paint since they were already white to begin with it's not a perfect it's uh, not the right kind of paint to use for the application but they look a bloody well lot better than uh, they did starting out they you know at a distance they're gonna look just fine white and fresh unlike the yellowed stained horrible mess they were before and I don't have to buy new ones or cut anything to length since uh, these are all cut to length already and I've got them uh, sorted out uh, by uh, room. Oh no, I don't, because I've messed that up. I have all... Oh, okay, I've messed up the organisation, but that's fine, I can figure that out. It's not... There's not too many of them. <sighs> Another day draws to an end. A bit more floor to move on. That is making a difference. That is making such a difference. <sighs>